Hello traders, FS Pep Collector here. Today is Wednesday, August 23rd, and I'm going to be analyzing the Aussie US dollar starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame. So on the Aussie dollar monthly, I still think this looks like three waves up for like a W. I think there's a good chance that we're finished with the wave X already, and I think this move up is actually going to be the beginning of a wave Y, like an A of Y, a B of Y, and eventually go up for a wave C of wave Y. So let's take a look at that on the weekly time frame. On the weekly, I think this is an uptrend for wave A of that wave Y. I think this is an A, B, C, D, E, most likely of that wave Y, probably an A, B, C, D, E, or B. And I still think eventually we're going to make an uptrend for the wave C of wave Y to complete that pattern I was sewing on the monthly time frame. So let's take it down to the daily time frame. On the daily time frame, very strong move to the downside as you can see. We are going up as of now, but I don't see any break of struts or I don't really see any reason to think this is over. I actually think it may go down more and it possibly could even go beyond this 78% Fib level. So let's take it down to the 4 hour time frame. On the 4 hour time frame I got my Fib retracement measuring this last push down. To me it looks like an A, B, C. It definitely is respecting the 38%. It looks like it's going to make an attempt to continue the downtrend. Maybe it's a wave 5. Maybe it's a continuation of a much bigger downtrend like a subdivision of a much bigger downtrend. So let's keep going down to the 1 hour time frame. On the 1 hour time frame, this is very, very corrective. The whole thing is very overlapping. It does kind of look like an A. This is more like an A, B, C, D. A, B, C of W. A, B, C of X. And like an A, B, C of Y for the way B. And then this looks like an uptrend for the C. This looks like impulsive down like a 1. This looks like corrective up like a 2. And it seems to me like it's more likely that it will continue the downtrend for a wave 3. So all this information tells me that I am definitely still continuing to look for sorts in a downtrend. If I see any pullbacks, I definitely am going to go sort for the continuation of this trend. So don't forget to join my free Discord group. The link for that is on the screen and in the description. Thanks and happy trading.